leading the coordination group. So this is the working group four on uh, coordination, dissemination and communication. And I'm leading this group with uh, Jose Luis Rubio and Natasha Nastic. And our role is to bridge all the different working groups of Purple Game, to bridge the delegates of the cost action, and also to, uh, to lead the dissemination activities of the consortium. So I'm working at the Norwegian University of Technology. Um, this is the Department of Biotechnology and Food Science. And um, with my team, we are part of the research division analysis and control of microbial systems. There, together with my PhD uh, candidate Zoe Forgero, who is a member of the Purple Game Cost Action, and our master student Alice Deschep, we try to understand uh, the microbial niches of phototrophs in the environment. So we are interested in purple phototrophic bacteria, but also other phototrophic microorganisms. If we are able to understand how they grow in the environment, we are able to translate that into a biotechnology process uh, afterward. And the aim eventually is to recover uh, resources from uh, residues like uh, wastewater or ag aquaculture uh, water uh, to produce feedstock uh for the fish in addition the research that we are currently performing on ppb at ntnu strongly links to developments that we have been doing in the past at the tu delft in the netherlands i should mention uh, marta ciruti abbas alul uh, ralph lindeboom ali murad vandi and mark van Lostrecht. and from this interaction we have been able to better harness purple phototrophic bacteria for environmental biotechnology processes Applications are very widespread. I think that Purple Game is first unique in the sense that we are bridging uh, the mixed culture, the co-culture and pure culture biotechnology. This has hardly even been done in the past. So, uh, Purple Game is the first cost action in Europe uh, to address this uh, integration of uh, disciplines in biotechnology. With that, there are plenty of applications that can be uh, foreseen uh, from this different field. Uh, in my field on mixed culture biotechnology, we uh, foresee uh, them for treating wastewater to recover nutrients. And what can be very interesting is whether we can reinject this recovered product for the food industry. If you think about uh, food industry residues, so this purple phototrophic bacteria can nicely capture the carbon, the nitrogen, or the phosphorus that is present in this residue to concentrate it and to potentially produce a feedstock that can be uh, valorized uh, directly back to the food industry. I mentioned before, Purple Gain is unique in the sense that we are bridging mixed culture, co-culture and pure culture biotechnology. And this brings us new principles of biotechnology. So it leads us to think Okay, how can I use pure culture principle to better understand the physiology of my organism, to then translate that back to the environmental biotechnology uh, process?